And what's up, y'all? Got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into um, Yo DJ Star, y'all favorite. Um, if y'all want to follow her, her link will be in my pinned comment. Uh, so she tells story, story times on TikTok. Y'all already know what it is. Let's get into it. Uh-oh. Even you start oh, yeah. What is this? What is this? So I can tell y'all. This is delusional Daisy. You ever been manipulated so bad that even you start to wonder, like, wait, is what this person saying? Like, is it really true? You start to, like, question yourself in a sense. Me neither. But <laughs> the, you ever been manipulated so bad that even you start to wonder, like, wait. Is what this person saying like? Is it really true? You start to like question yourself in a sense. Me neither. But <laughs> for those of you that it has happened to, story time. I mean, it almost happened to me. You could say. Why do you always use stuff to put your chapstick on? Why you just won't use the chapstick? Fun fact though: Do not use the Q-tip for your ears because you're only pushing the wax deep down. So don't do that. But anyway, let's get into the story. Okay, so it's me and let's call her Daisy, short for delusional Daisy. Yo, when I say this girl was so delusional, I was just telling somebody about this and it was just like, well, I never really realized how off, like this girl is so throwed off, it really doesn't make any sense. But let's get into it. Me and Daisy was actually cool for a little second. When I say cool, we just used to see each other, you know, speak, say, hey, what's up, whatever. We had mutual friends, nothing too crazy. Kip. One day we had like a little cookout, a little kickback, and we just started harmlessly flirting and I'm like, dang. I could see myself, you know what I'm saying, messing with Daisy. Daisy not so bad after all, now that I'm really kind of actually paying attention to her. Now, mm -hmm. mind you, Daisy used to always tell me, like, I'm not in the girls, I'm not in the women, but I'll do something to you. I'll do something all to you. All the time, don't they? <laughs> to you. Oh, yeah, she tried to do something to me. That's the thing. I should never even. But you know me, I like a little, you know what I'm saying, a little suspense. I like a little, what you gonna do, you feel me? So, uh -huh. me and Daisy, we just kind of slowly started talking, conversing, and eventually we ended up dating. <laughs> Now, why is it always like this? Before you date a person, they can be so super cool, so super funny, all this and all that. The minute y'all start dating, it's like, dang, what happened? I'm not funny no more. I'm not cool. Like, what? Dang, why all of a sudden I feel like you with me and now you don't like me all of a sudden? That's how I felt with Daisy. I would much rather us have just stayed friends than just trying to pursue each other in a relationship because, honestly, worst mistake. I slowly but surely start to notice how possessive Daisy was getting. Like, we'll be around people. Somebody could look at me for a split second, just, you know, off human instinct, just kind of look. Maybe because I walk in the room or maybe because I'm talking, maybe because I'm coffee made of noise. They would just look and Daisy would automatically assume, oh, she like you. Oh, yeah, she want to have sex with you. Oh, oh, hell no. You ain't about to get on my nerve. Yeah, she must be. She must like girls like she would instantly assume that no matter who you were no matter if you weren't even on that and you ain't even gay leave me alone you could be with your boyfriend girlfriend daisy thought the whole world wanted me that was just her whole outlook on stuff but y'all know how it is when you really like a person you talk to them about stuff you feel like stuff gonna change you feel me and you know what i'm saying y'all just start y'all keep going in relationships i know a lot of people like oh why you just don't start talking so why you didn't? i felt like she had me feeling like she was gonna change and she was just tripping and what gonna happen again all the other stuff I mean, please on multiple occasions daisy would just make up scenarios day in and day out mind you i wasn't doing anything i was being faithful i was being committed i was being the best girlfriend i could possibly be it still wasn't enough for daisy it's like she would say stuff to herself she would think stuff even she would have these dreams or this she would be so intuitive in, intuitive intuition into way <laughs> innovative she was that intuitive bitch <laughs> hey, y'all know what i'm talking about it's like okay i respect all of that but at the same time you can't make me be out here doing something that i'm not doing no, regardless of what your mind is telling you regardless of what these dreams regardless of what you want to talk to the lady and the lady is telling you that you know what i'm saying that you should be aware of me i'm not doing anything it's like, there was this girl that started coming around or whatever let's just call her casey Casey started coming around the friend group. Everything was cool, whatever like that. Casey walked up to me, introduced herself. She walked up to Daisy, introduced herself. And the minute that Casey walked off, Daisy was just like, mm-mm, nope. It's something about her. I felt like she, yeah, no, I don't like her. Instantly, the girl did nothing. She introduced herself as she was doing... She don't like who? Up to Daisy, introduced herself. And the minute that Casey walked off, Daisy was just like, mm-mm, nope. It's something about her. I felt like she, yeah, no, I don't like her. Instantly. The girl did nothing. She introduced I ain't gonna lie. Some, some people can be very intuitive like that, and some of them you might need to listen to. Okay? But not all. Herself as she was doing to everyone else around the room, and Daisy was just like, mm mm, no, we staying away from her. Like, Daisy ain't even doing that. Like, what the? We left the little kickback, whatever, like that, went home. 
Daisy, like, did she say anything to you the whole time? The times where I went, to, like, went to the bathroom where I was maybe talking to a friend. Did that girl come up to you? Did she say something to you? That girl didn't girl, say not a no. moment word. I don't even Move. think she looked my way, to be completely honest. Went to sleep that night. Woke up the next morning. Daisy wakes me up, and she's just like, hey, I had a dream. I'm like, what is your dream about? She's like, I had a dream you cheated on me with that Casey girl, and oh. I don't think I could do this no more. Ah. Tools in the comments for part two. Tooski. Oh, hey. You ever been manipulated so bad that even you start to the hell got time for that we all have our moments now don't get me wrong we all have a little insecurity to ourselves but baby if you're the type of that's a little too much person that have dreams about you being cheated on and you actually believe your dreams seek help oh and I mean, especially I mean, the believing part honey sauce did it to um the baby one time in my dream and i never forget it it was so realistic oh uh, i was like oh you fucking the baby <laughs> You doing it to the baby on me? Girl, I make a joke to this day, but she has as far as I know. You never know these days. <sighs> do that too, but it's not about me. I'm talking about y'all. So don't don't do that. Take accountability and know what y'all be doing. <laughs> y'all, this girl, my girl at the time, Daisy, had a dream that I cheated on her with a girl that we just met a couple of hours before. Mind you, the girl did not say anything. She did not do anything out of the normal. She introduced herself to me and my girlfriend, Daisy, and that was it. We didn't talk for the rest of the party. I didn't even see her for the rest of the party. Everything was cool. It's never cool. <laughs> so to wake me up out of Nothing's my sleep and tell me that cool. basically we breaking up because you had this dream and you don't want to get hurt. And it's like, damn, you didn't even give me a chance to defend my case. Granted, I should have just been like, you know what? Okay, cool. I respect that. I should have just walked out of her life because the roller coaster this girl took me on was so uncalled for. It's funny now, but back then it's like, bro, what is really like? She won't cool it all, y'all. She was not cool. I'm not going to lie. So, you know, me, I'm like, instead of just leaving, I was trying to fight for my relationship. Ain't that what you're supposed to do? I was trying to fight for my relationship. I'm like, dang, come on, don't do me like I mean, that. I would never talk to that girl. I would never do that to you. I'm all about you. You want to stay with her anyway. Ooh, I just been faithful to you. I only want to talk to you. I've been about you. Like, come on, stop doing don't do that. Stop playing like that. She was like, so you'll never talk to her? I'm like, no, why? I'm talking to you. She like, so you'll never go behind my back or do anything with her? I'm like, no, I'm talking to you. Be cool. Then she gets to telling me, like, I always know stuff before it happened. I begin these visions. I begin these signs. So I always call no, it out. No, she thinks she's that so raven, and that's the problem. So, like, I never miss. So, if I say something, that means I'm right. Just watch her. If she say anything to you, if she try to come at you, if she try to DM me on social media, let me know. And I'm like, all right, babe, cool. Like, I got you. If she do anything, I'm going to come right to you. Boom. We both went to work. We had a good day. Came home. She cooked. Whatever. We watching movies. About to fall asleep. I get woke up out my sleep again, middle of the night. No. She's like, your phone keep going off. Who texting? Hell no. You. I'm like, I don't know. And I don't care. Like, I'm asleep. Like, it's not. I don't care who calling me, who texting me. Like, I'm asleep. I'm tired. I was working all day. Bam. She like, nah, I think you need to, like, check your phone. Because, like, it keep going off. Just check your phone to make sure everything all right. Whatever, though, y'all. I check my phone. And I get a text from this fake. I get a text from this fake. <laughs> I get a text message from a fake text app number. Got what I'm trying to and the message reads, what's up, Starion? This Casey. Remember I met you the other night at the party. <gasps> you ever been manipulated oh so God. bad? If you're the type of person that have dreams about you being cheated on and you actually text from this fake... <clears throat> I get a text message. <gasps> Now, my girl caught that. In my head, I'm thinking like, wow, my girl knew. My girl said Casey was going to reach out to me. Wait, but how Casey get my number? I don't know about all that right now, but all I need to know is I need to tell my girl right here, right now. Guess who just texted me? Casey just texted me from the party. You was right. But wait, how Casey get my number? Uh -uh. I never gave Casey my number. I barely even. Okay, but all right. So I turn over. I'm like, babe, look. She look at the phone. She taking her time reading the message like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. She's like, what the? F That's weird as hell. Why? Why would she text you when she already know you got a girlfriend? I'm like, cause your ass text her. Crazy ass girl. Like, I don't know what's going on. I'm just trying to keep you in the loop. I'm just trying to let you know that Casey just see me up. You was right. How did you know that? You were so on point. You right. Your institution or introvert, ah. intuition, intuition, intuitive thoughts. You was right on point, baby. You did that. Dig that. So she got up out the bed and just started, like, throwing stuff. Something. She was like, I told you. That's why I don't want you talking to nobody. That's why I don't want you in nobody's face. I know you started. Got out the bed and started doing crazy shit.
these girls, these girls not right. They go behind their back. These girls so foul. I'm like, yeah, but it's okay, baby. She hit me. I'll let you know she hit me. I'm not going to text her back. She hit me from a fake text app number. I don't know why, but it's cool. Rest assured, I'm not going to hit her back. A couple days go by. I'm in the grocery store. I'm minding my best. You feel me? Shopping, doing a little this, doing a little that. I turn to Al, and guess who coming down to Al? Who? It's Casey. No. <sighs> Mind you, I've never seen Casey beforehand. It's just like, ever since that situation happened, I start to see Casey a lot. She just start popping up a lot, like, all on social media and the whole people you may know, stuff like that. It was just really weird, but whatever. So, you know, me trying to be loyal and committed to my girl, I, like, I didn't even see Casey, so I turned my neck quick. <laughs> Casey obviously knows me. She was like, oh, sorry, hey, what's up? How you doing? You live in this area or whatever? I'm just like, look, man, I'm, really, I'm not really supposed to be talking to you. What you did was foul. You feel me? My girl didn't really appreciate that. So I'm just going to, like, no disrespect. Oh, because you know she actually believed it. I would have been like, I know. I know you're not playing with me right now. What you mean playing with you? You know that's you texting me, bitch. You know that's you. Ooh. Oh, my God. I'm just going to keep it pushing. I don't really got nothing to say to you. She like, what you mean? Like, nobody did anything. I spoke to you. I spoke to her and I went about my day. So, like, what's tea? Yeah. I'm like, bro, whatever. You know that was you that hit me up from that fake app number talking about what's up. You met me at the party. Da -da 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 -da. Like, come on, be for real. Yo, this girl was like, what the fuck are you talking about? I didn't hit you up. I don't even have your number. And she was like, I don't even have a fake text app number on my phone. She unlocks her phone and going through her phone, like, showing me, y'all. And she didn't even have no fake text app number on the phone, y'all. So at that moment, I'm like, wait a minute. You think? She was like, I don't know what's going on, but y'all need to fix that. Like, I would never do nothing disrespectful like that. Like, you cool as hell. She cool as hell. I wouldn't try to be no homework or whatever like that. Got I her believing in some shit that it ain't. Nowhere. It's almost as if she could feel it. My girl started FaceTiming me. Me and Casey looked at the phone, and I'm just like, look, go over there, go over there. So then, you know, I answered the incoming FaceTime call. My girl called me. Threes in the comments. Drop three skis in the comments for part three. She you ever been manipulated so bad that even you start to... I don't know what's okay. worse at this point. The fact that I knew I was being lied to by my girlfriend or the fact that I still just didn't want to believe that she was that delusional. As soon as Casey told me that she didn't have no text now app on her phone, I automatically knew something went off in my head like, bro, it's your girl playing games on you. But it's like, bro, I don't want to believe that. My girl was on FaceTime, I'm like, what's taking you so long at the store? What are you doing? I hope you're not cheating on me. I hope you're not talking to nobody because you know I'm going to find out, you know. Or, or do I know? Or do I know? Got home that night and it's like, me, when something's off, I can't really pretend. I don't know how y'all be going so long with holding information because I have to speak on it. Like, Yeah, that's what I was saying. I was saying the same thing about her <laughs> and some of these other stories. I got to talk about it. Ain't no way in hell I'm waiting. More times than none, I'm going to have to say something. Got to. And it was also because of the fact she's like, dang, I can't believe I was really right about that girl. Like, I'm always right. When I tell you stuff, you need to listen to me because I just be knowing. Like, I got to give this and this. Shut the... Anyway, <laughs> fast forward a couple days later, I had to train a new girl at the job. I was a trainer at my job. So, of course, a new person come in. I have to teach them the ropes, show them the ropes. Kip. So, I'm telling my girl, like, yeah, I was training this girl. At the, band. the first thing she say is like, how does this girl look? She looks like a girl. She's like, I really hope that you're not letting her get close to you. I really hope that y'all not talk about anything besides work because you know how girls are. She's going to like you. I'm like, bro, she told me she has a boyfriend. Da -da -da. She's like, I don't care about none of that. Um, I'm just, it's just something about her. Bro, you never seen a girl before. You don't even know what the girl name. You never even heard the girl. How you know something about her? Like, why do y'all do that? The institution ain't that strong. Intuition? Introvert. I don't what? care. Like, you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Institution so, is boom, crazy. y'all, like, a month rolled around, and my job have, like, this family and friends day at my job where we invite people, show them, like, what we do at work. You know, we have, like, little food, play little fun games. We would have, y'all know how that go. Bam. Cap. Now, the girl I was training, let's call her Whitney. Q. So, I introduced my girlfriend, like, hey, you know, this is Whitney. Whitney, this is my girlfriend. Blah, blah, blah. Like, okay, cool. Whitney reaches her hand out, like, to shake my girlfriend's hand, and my girlfriend was just like, just like that, y'all. Embarrassing, bro. I'm not that type of person. Like, bro, if I would have known you would act like this, I would have never even brought you. Like, never you brought you around, so nobody. Nasty girl. Nasty. I've been a nasty girl. Whitney was a good sport about it. She just kind of like chuckled and just walked off because it's just like, bro, what you on? I'm telling her, like, what's good with you? She like, nah, I know it's something about her. Like, I don't know, but I'm going to put my finger on it. That would get on my damn nerves. I can't tell right now. There's all this other, all, bro, like, she never makes sense for real. 
I just feel like the whole time she was there, she was just being a B-I-T-C-H. And it's like, dang, that's not fair. Like, come on. I'm not on that. I'm telling people about my girlfriend. Like, I'm proud to have you as my girlfriend. Like, you low-key embarrassing me right now. The end of family and friends, they came, whatever, like that. So everybody's saying, all right, goodbye. Like, we'll, we'll see y'all Monday, whatever, like that. So I'm walking off. And wouldn't you like, hey, Starry, you need to add me back on IG. Like, I followed you, you need to follow me back. Now, why would you say that and you see we got Inspector Gadget right here? You see we got Miss Cleo right here. You see we got the lady that be on the Vegas Strip that's trying to scam people out their money because she's... All right, a little too personal. She owed me some money, though. I just I had to get that. She owed me a lot of money. So I just quickly was like, all right, cool, 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 whatever. I get in the car. As soon as I get in the car... My girl, like, you know you're not following her back, right? Matter of fact, you need to block her. Like, if she, why is she following you when she got a boyfriend? I'm like, damn, we co we can't be cool. Real quick, how do y'all feel about y'all co-workers following y'all on social media? Y'all fuck with it? Y'all don't? Y'all be, like, what type of time y'all doing? Y'all don't nobody give a damn. <laughs> okay, whatever. So we kind of going back and forth about it, arguing about it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm going to block the girl. Like, it's cool. That, if that's what you want, that's what's going to make this relationship stand tall. Like, okay, you got it. I'm going to block the girl. Cool. Two days later, y'all, I kid you not, I got a DM from a fake page saying hey you know this Whitney from work I'm not understanding why you blocked me just want to know what's going on like what's up with us my job Whitney don't talk like this Whitney don't even type or text like this so it's just like bro who is this girl huh? and coincidentally of course my girl like hey well I don't know if that Whitney girl is still trying to reach out to you or not but you need to let me know uh, how did you know that she this is crazy you two for two you two and all right now baby god how you good at this game <laughs> so I'm like, well, yeah, she did reach out to me via Instagram. I don't know if it's from another page. I don't really know you if it's thinking, her. You thinking, you telling on yourselves. That's crazy. She's like, what you mean? Of course it's her. Like, why would it be somebody else? Like, come on. I already told you about this Whitney girl. I low-key don't want you working there no more. It was OD. It was so OD. Like, you don't want me working at the job no more because a girl DM me from a fake page, even if it is the girl. Like, come on, bro. Uh-uh. So, of course, boom, I went to work the next day and I'm asking Whitney, like, bro, why are you DM me from a fake page? Whatever. She's like, what the? What are you talking about? Nobody DM'd you from a fake page, but I like how you blocked me and didn't say nothing. I'm telling her, like, you know, my girl, she don't really like the fact that we, you know what I'm saying, cool at work, blah, blah, blah. She was understandable. She was like, but I don't get why you think i would write you from a like a fake page when we work together i see you every day like that's not me i don't know who that is but it's not me <laughs> just to give me a peace of mind i'm like can i see your phone like can i go through your gram or can i see you feel me and she didn't even have a fence store or a fake page she only had her one little page that was it it wasn't her all right so it wasn't casey on a fake text app number it wasn't whitney on a fake social media instagram page so who is this and how do they know all the been on like why y'all really know all the been on crazy Cool. I leave work, go home. You know, we eat, we talk about our day, whatever, we watch a movie, we go to sleep. I get woke up again oh, in the no. middle of the night. Ain't and no this way. This time, straight up and down, it was, let me see your phone. <gasps> see my phone for what? She like, I cannot believe. She's like, I had a nightmare that you cheated on me, and a person that you cheated on me with had came and they was trying to fight me and all this stuff. Like, I really need to see your phone because I feel like God trying to tell me something. <sighs> Falls in the comments, bro. Girl. Falls in the comments. Delusional Daisy's going down. <laughs> so y'all really let y'all God trying to really tell her something. Friend and girlfriend, you go through y'all phone. When they actually see y'all phone, y'all really let them see? At this point, I was already just fed up. You already made me block somebody I barely even knew. You don't want me talking to my coworker. You even had me considering switching my job just to prove to you that me and my coworker had nothing going on. So going through my phone at this point, it's a no for me. I don't want you to go through my phone. I'm not trying to give you my phone. None of that. Like, at this point, the line has to be drawn somewhere. We was back and forth damn near all night. She constantly saying like, oh, if you don't want me to go through your phone, you must got something to hide. And I'm like, oh, you must don't trust me. Why you want to go through my phone? I blocked everybody you wanted to block. I stopped talking to them. Like, just stop. So she finally was like, okay, I'm going to drop it. Like, I'm going to leave it alone. We laid down. She even was into cuddling. It was just like, hmm, I know she got something up her sleeve. She's not just going to, she's not the type of just going to let it go like that. So I got to stay on my tippy toes. A few days passed, you know, everything was good. We got back. It seems like everything was back to the norm. And then we at the crib. She's like, can I ask you something? I hate that question. What you mean? Just ask me. Don't even ask me. Can you ask me something? I just need the question straight out. Don't even give me that type of anxiety for me. That's real. it. I'm like, yeah, what's up? She's like, have you and that Whitney girl from your job been talking? I'm oh, like, girl. What? No, we haven't been talking. We haven't been communicating. None of that. Like, we work in a big warehouse. We don't need to really communicate. So you told me not to talk to her. So I'm not talking to her. Kip. She was like, all right. She gets in the shower. You know, I'm just laying across the bed, just like, me. I really thought we was out of the woods with this, but whatever. Yo, I get a text again from a fake text app number. Okay, cool. And it reads verbatim. Star, what did I do to you? This is Whitney. Why aren't you talking to me anymore at work? Man, hell no. You can no. still talk. You don't have to tell your girlfriend. That's what it said. Word. 
Bro, the fact that she playing with her like this is ridiculous. Word for word. Something I also noticed, anytime I got these fake text numbers, apps, text on my phone, I was either asleep or she wasn't around, my girlfriend. So I'm just like, hmm, how coincidence, coincidentally, how convenient, <laughs> Qu quarter zone, I <clears throat> I'm gonna do better, y'all, I really am. I'm just, you feel me? It's just one of them, it's always a coincidence. She be trolling. That when I get these texts, my girl is nowhere around or I'm asleep. So, you know, the first thing came to my mind, I'm like, that's my girl in the bathroom texting me because Whitney's not worried about us not talking at work. She has her boyfriend. She has her own life to live. No way she's texting me late at night wondering why we're not talking about, like, why we're not talking at work. I knew it was my girlfriend. I just did not know how I was going to prove it. Something came over me and was just like, all right, just go bust in the bathroom. Only way you'll find out if you bust in the bathroom and she on her phone, whatever, like, that's the only way. You too I bust in the bathroom and y'all, she was in the shower, her phone's on the toilet seat. I'm like, hmm. But some kind of way, I knew it was still her, though. Hold on. She got the shower and was like, why you come in the bathroom? Did you need something? Did you Was you talking to me? Did you need? Nah, why are you texting my phone from a fake text app number? But I ain't said I was just like, oh, I was just in there making sure you was good, make sure you didn't need nothing, whatever. I'm just playing it. Kill. When she got the shower, she was like, you know what? Like, let's just have a little date night, like, in the crib, whatever. I'm a cook. We can play music. We can play games, whatever. She's like, I have some extra wine. I got some liquor, whatever. We can get drunk. All right, cool. Because I feel like this is going to be my opportunity. Because she the type, when she get off the lick, she go into a whole nother dimension. So this will be my opportunity to feel like I need to go through and that. And she get drunk and get crazy. And find that fake text app number. Cool. Everything going good. We in the kitchen cooking together. She playing the tune from her phone. We playing like little fun games with each other. Everything's a vibe for right now. But I'm still just like, I got to find out because this is really messing with my head. Like, I know this not Whitney texting my phone. I know it wasn't Casey texting my phone. I need to find out who playing with me. I'm making her take shot after shot because I know how she get out her body when she get drunk. So, okay. She take a shot after shot. Everything vibe. And I'm, I'm saying to myself, like, God... If it's meant for me to go through this girl's phone, like, give me the opportunity right here, right now. I don't want to go through it, but if it's meant for me, just make something happen to give me the opportunity to go through this girl's phone. And I kid you not, all of a sudden, she was like, hold on, I'm about to go to, to the bathroom real quick. I feel like I got to throw up. Like, hmm. Lee's phone right there on the table, right in front of me, playing YouTube, so the phone already unlocked. Y'all, I hear her in the bathroom just throwing her life up. Like, she's just throwing up back to back to back. I get the phone. I so, got this girl ultra drunk to get the tea, and I'm here for it. Swipe out the YouTube, and I forgot. When you on YouTube and you swipe out, the music stops. Got her drunk to get the tea, not take her goodies. Y'all, don't come for me in these comments. Playing. So she instantly was like, why the music stop? I couldn't even listen to her. I'm just swiping. I'm trying to find a fake text. I'm, I'm swiping. I'm going through. I'm going through. I'm hearing her in the bathroom trying to hurry up and get her stuff like, I don't know. She was just trying to hurry up and get up out the bathroom. I just heard noise. Like, she's coming. She's coming. So I'm just studying. Swiping through, taking my time. Like, oh, my God. Swiping through. So then she's finally starting. She's like, what are you doing? And I couldn't even say nothing. But one thing, though, I didn't see a fake text app on her phone at all. Who the f*** is texting me? I thought y'all said it was her. Is it not her? So if it is her, why she don't have the app on her phone? What's going on? Fives in the comments for the finale. Fives in the free. Imagine getting caught trying to go through somebody's phone. Oh, Sometimes Lord. I still feel the embarrassment to she this done got day. Caught. That happened years ago. It's not even like I'm trying to go through her phone to, like, catch her cheating or whatever the case may be. I just wanted to see and confirm that it's her texting me from this fake text app. I remember being so zoned out. Like, she's standing literally right here, like, right to the left of me. And she's just, like, screaming, like, what's going on with you? Why you won't let me go through your phone? But you all in my phone. You're invading my privacy. And I was just sitting there still holding her phone. Like, what? Nigga. You know you've been lying to me. Stop playing with me. Wow. Um, there's literally no text app number. Like, there's no text app on her phone, period. All I could do was sit her phone down and just walk to the room. Because at this point, <laughs> for what, she never let it go. She, like, I don't know who did this shit. She wanted to cry about it. She wanted to argue about it, go back and forth. But, I mean, I don't have no defense. I got caught trying to go through your phone. What do you want me to say? It's like, I, I me, mean, it's really, I don't have a horse in this race. Like... She's like, oh, I feel so disrespected. I feel violated. I would never do anything to you. Like, why are you going through my phone? Because I have yet to say, like, oh, I was going through your phone to see if it was you. Like, this is all I'm talking to myself in my head. I still have not said a mumbling word to this girl because, like, what can I say? What can I say? What can I say? <laughs> After that, everything was awkward. Like, days went by. We barely said anything to each other. We just, like, coexisting, trying to be cordial. You know, she's still cooking and cleaning. I'm Not you mad because I went in your phone, but you've been lying to me. Still, how was your day? But it just felt completely off. But one thing I noticed, I haven't received a fake text from that app number in a while. Like, the whole time since the situation happened, 
coincidentally, coincidentally, because y'all be trying to play me. Coincidentally, now it's nothing. It's, it's, I'm not getting no type of text. Like, that's crazy. That was crazy to me. So, boom, the weekend coming around, she like, look, I'm going to go have me a girl's night, whatever. I'm like, okay, I'm going to go kick it with my friends. Like, we obviously just need some space. It's that situation. You know, it's a little tense in this month. So, you know what I mean? We're just going to go our separate ways for the weekend. Kill. She kicking it with her friends, I'm kicking it with mine. She drinking, so she started texting me like, you know, I'm really starting to miss you. I hate when we like this. Y'all know all that. You feel me when you get on that, you know what I'm saying? You know what type of time it is. So I'm like, so what you seeing? You trying to see me? You want me come get you? Want me come scoop? Because I'm knowing she like, I'll get messed up. But like her type of drunk messed up is like on another level. So just let me come get you because you tweet. She like, yes, come get me. Let's go home. Let's be together. Like, I don't even want to be here no more. I just want to be with you. I love you. This, this, and I'm like, oh, it's going to be some real good making up to do. You know what I'm at? <laughs> so when I make it up to her friend's house, her and her friends, oh, you know, they drinking, they gossiping. They doing what they do. So, you know, I'm just chilling for a little minute because I'm just, she like, hold on, I'm not ready to go just yet. Okay, cool. I'm sitting here. Next thing you know, her her friend got like off into a room or something, doing whatever I do. I don't really care. I'm just kind of honestly ready to go because like you called me over. I left my friends come to come over here with you. So it's like, bro, come on, let's go. Her, her friend come back, you know, her friend sit on the right of me. She's sitting like on my lap. So, you know, we just talking about like, oh, like, let's plan a trip. Let's do something. Like if we can all get the same day off work, whatever. We just trying to like plan a little friend's day out, I guess. The friend get up and she was like, oh, let me make you a drink. Let me make you one of my special drinks before you leave. Like you got to taste it, whatever. I'm like, all right, cool. She go and get in the kitchen, start making my drink. Me and my girl, remember, she's sitting on my lap. So she turned around facing me. Y'all, I'm waiting till she get to the point. I was like, fine with this. So she like, look, I really, I'm really sorry. I really hate that we like this. I really just don't want you to be doing nothing behind my back. I don't want you to be cheating on me. I don't want you. And I'm like, you know what? I understand. Like, I don't know that fake text app number was driving me crazy, but I'm sorry. I should never thought that it was you. It was not true. You feel me? Hopefully you could forgive me. It really me. wasn't, huh? We can move forward. Cool. In the middle of me, you know, trying to have my heart to heart, my phone vibrated again. And my phone is in my pocket. So she's sitting on me. So she feels it. She's like, who is that texting you? Hmm. Because, like, the thing is, when I'm faithful, I'm really faithful. So, like, if somebody texting me, it got to be, like, you know, a friend, a family member. Something got to be going on. It's almost, like, 2 o'clock in the morning. So, yeah, who texting me? So, you know, without even suspecting anything, I pulled my phone out of my pocket, and it's a fake text app number. Again? What's going now, on? Now, I know it can't be her because she's been sitting on my lap this whole time. She don't even know where her phone is, honestly, because I remember her saying, like, have you seen my phone? I'm like, no. She's like, I don't know where my phone is, but, you know, we're going to find it before we leave because I checked the location and her phone was in somewhere in the house. Y'all know how girls do. Cute. So it's not her. At this point, so many emotions running through my head because, like, damn, I really accused this girl. Like, I got caught going through her phone for nothing because it's not even her. Like, oh, my God. Like, what if it's something? Like, I just don't. I just could not believe what was going on right now. This bitch can tell a story because I am confused. Okay. She's like, wow, so those girls still reaching out to you? That's crazy. You know, she and her feelings, she's like, get off of me. Honestly, you're on me, but <laughs> go off, sis. But she's like, yeah, don't talk to me. Like, I'm mad at you. You could just leave, as a matter of fact. Go back to your friend's house. I'm like, bro, what? Like, what are you talking about? So me and her, we started, like, arguing, going back and forth. We her friend, like, hey, y'all, just cool off. Like, you go in that room, start, and you go outside real quick. Like, it's okay. It's not even, like, come on, y'all, calm down. Don't do that. My girl called me everything but a child of God. I'm like, bro, I'm not messing with nobody. I've not been texting this number back. I don't know what's going on. It stopped for, like, a week. Next thing you know, they back on the line. Like, what? Why are you mad at me since somebody texting and playing on my phone? Like, I don't got nothing to do with that. She's like, okay, yeah, whatever. Throw her hand up. And she walk in her friend's room and slam the door. You know what? I just finally was, like, texting her back, like, bro, who is this? And what do you know? I heard a phone go off, like a notification. It's like a ding, like, ding. Wow. But I'm like, maybe it's coincidental. So I sent the question mark just to make sure. And again, as soon as it said delivered or sent, ding. The perpetrator is in the room. <laughs> the 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 villain is in the same room as me. How can I be? So I sent another question mark just to make sure. And again, I had a ding. Three times cannot be a coincidence. It can't be coincidental that here right now. <laughs> me can't be losing my mind, mind. This can't be. So I'm like, hold on, y'all. Turn the music down. Turn the TV down. Everybody just need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> right. really quick. So I text back again. Who is this playing on my phone? Ding. Everybody in the room looking lost and confused. Everybody but her best friend, though. Oh. She got a look on her face like she just boo-booed on herself. 
Why aren't you looking surprised? Why aren't you looking shy? Everybody like, what? That's what I'm telling the situation. I'm like, y'all, somebody been playing on my phone. And I finally decided to text the number back. And I'm hearing a notification go off. So it got to be somebody in this room. Everybody like, what the hell? That's weird. Like, what are you talking about? It's the best friend just standing there stuck like a dead headlights. So I'm looking at the best friend phone sitting right next to her. And one more time, I text that fake text app number that's been texting me. I sent the question mark and her screen lit up. Or I could have jumped right across the aisle and ping, 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 ping. Like, why? Ping, 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 real fast. I'm talking about nonstop. I ain't gonna stop <laughs> punching her until I get tired of punching her. And I ain't never gonna get tired of punching her because I'm mad. <laughs> why is this happening? I'm you. They gonna think something seriously wrong with me when they already know that type of time. But I was just so mad, like. And once I noticed, once I finally put two and two together equals four. Three and three equals six. Six and six equals six and six equals twelve. <laughs> I just walked out the house. Her best friend calling my girl. Daisy, Daisy, come out the room. Daisy, Daisy, like what? She knows. Oh, you damn right I do. Mm -hmm. You damn right I do. Oh. I was feeling bad. I was feeling so wrong. I was trying to. I was like, you know what? I got to do whatever to build my relationship back with my girl because what I did was wrong for even thinking that was somebody. Like she really had me. She really had me going just for it to be her best friend. And I know what type of people they is because anytime something happened with her best friend, my girl always be like, oh, you know, we should set them up. Oh, yeah, well, we can set him up. Or And and now look at me, get set up. Mm. Ain't enough talking, ain't enough begging, ain't enough pleading. It's it's done. It's over. I don't want to talk about it. We are finished. Delusional days. And I still consider you delusional to this day because of what you did, bro. You wrong. And you know you wrong. And you're going to have to answer to that on judgment day, too, because I know God going to be like, well, why, why you do her like that? Mm-hmm. And you're going to have to come forth and whatever your answer may be, but you know you're wrong for that. Wash my hands with delusion of Daisy, bro. That was that. Couldn't wait to get back to our crib, pack all of my stuff and just leave because ain't no talking after that. You literally created a situation and had problems going between us and it was you. Because even, even though she'd be like, oh, well, it was my friend. You set that up. Y'all set that up. And it, I'm not going to lie. It was pretty good to have your friend texting me from a fake, you feel me, and whatever, whatever. So it was probably no way I would have ever caught you up until I could run, run into your friend. It's over with. Done deal. Daisy is a done deal. Man, y'all want more story times? I already know what y'all gotta do. So drop once in the comments for a new story ski. Imagine story King ski. Kong. That's crazy. I did not expect it to be the best friend. I mean, who even knew the bestie was in there? But okay. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. Like I said, her um TikTok will link will be in the pinned comment. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey yeah.